Hey everybody! Welcome to our channel Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in our VA. In this video, we're going to show you four awesome neighborhoods in the Mechanicsville area. All of them have nice amenities provided by the HOA with three out of the four having a community pool, which is great. So if you're looking for nice, family-friendly neighborhoods at an affordable price, these could be a great fit. So be sure to watch this whole video. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson. And I'm Sarah Jefferson. And we own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. While some realtors dabble in relocation, we live and breathe it. We have helped families from all over the world relocate to Richmond. And if you're thinking about doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide. It's full of useful information all about Richmond and the surrounding areas. The link is in the comments below and on our banner image. If you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel because we will continue to be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including more neighborhood tours just like this one. Videos where we take you inside of the houses that are for sale around Richmond. Fun things to do in RVA. Lots more coming up. So this video is focusing on the Mechanicsville area. Mechanicsville is a more affordable suburb of Richmond because it isn't as commercially dense with as many nearby amenities as some of the other areas. And the schools aren't quite as highly rated as those in the western suburbs. But in return for this compromise, your dollar will go further and buy you a larger or a nicer home. And Mechanicsville's proximity to downtown Richmond is better than some of the other suburbs and it's all about a balance of compromise. So if you want to learn more about the Mechanicsville area, be sure to check out our playlist on Mechanicsville, and we'll be adding more videos to it in the future. So with all that being said, let's get started. First up is the Milestone neighborhood. Milestone is a pretty large neighborhood with around 390 homes within it. It is located in the northwestern part of Mechanicsville, just east of the intersection of New Ashcake Road and Sliding Hill Road. When you first drive in through the main entrance, you immediately arrive at the HOA provided amenities. The HOA is only $250 per quarter, and in return, you get a large soccer field, a nice playground, two tennis courts, a basketball court, a clubhouse, and a really nice pool. These amenities are awesome to have within the neighborhood, especially if you're new to the area. They're a great way to meet your neighbors and quickly make friends. Plus, if you have kids, it's sure to be a hit. The neighborhood is almost divided in two by the Totopotomoy Creek with a section north of it and south of it. FYI, there is a flood zone along the creek, but checking the flood map, it appears that at most only one or two homes would be affected by it. This creek and its flood zones also affect two of the other neighborhoods in this video, but with a similar result. We didn't see any more than one or two homes that might require flood insurance. What we love about Milestone beyond the HOA amenities is the fact that it's an established neighborhood and the landscaping is nice and mature with many of the houses having great curb appeal. Not every home has a wooded lot, but many of them do. Houses range in size from 1,800 square feet up to 4,200 square feet, but the neighborhood average of about 2,766 square feet. The year built ranges from 1996 through 2004 and the average being right in the middle with the year 2000. Most homes feature four to five bedrooms with two and a half to four and a half bathrooms. Prices range from the high 300s to the mid 600s and the average is just a little over $500,000. So if you wanna stay on the lower end of that price range, expect to find something on the smaller side in that neighborhood, probably around 2,200 square feet. In the past year, there were a total of 22 sales within Milestone, so if you liked what you saw in the neighborhood, you should see a few options pop up in the market during your house hunt. The school systems here are Hershey Creek Elementary, Chickahominy Middle, and Atley High. Up next is Ash Creek. Ash Creek is actually located directly beside the Milestone neighborhood, just south of New Ash Cake Road. While speaking about its location, something to be aware is that there's a train track bordering the eastern side of the neighborhood, so I'd probably avoid buying a home with the yard that backs up to those. As mentioned before, the Totopotomoy Creek also comes into play here, but only on the westernmost lots, and again, we didn't see more than one or two homes where flood insurance might be required. We love driving into Ash Creek because we're suckers for beautiful landscaped entryways. I would say that overall, Ash Creek's a little bit greener than Milestone, and it's almost twice as large as Milestone, with around 650 homes located within it. All the yards are beautiful, and this is probably our favorite neighborhood in this video. Very similar to Milestone, Ash Creek's HOA provides you with great amenities, including a basketball court, a large playground, a community clubhouse and pool, a picnic area, and two tennis courts, and the HOA fee is only $190 per quarter, so it's very affordable for what you get in return. This neighborhood is slightly older than the last, with year built ranging from 1994 through 2004, but the average year built being in 1997. Sizes range from almost 1,600 square feet up to around 4,100 square feet, with the average being just under 2,600. 
you can find a three to six bedroom home with two to three and a half bathrooms. Expect to pay somewhere in the high 300s to the mid 600s, and the average price of the neighborhood is $480,000, which is lower than Milestone's average, possibly as a result of the houses being older. With the neighborhood being so large, it's no surprise that there were more sales over the past year, with that number sitting at a total of 35 homes sold. We've shown a lot of houses in this neighborhood, and again, we love the curb appeal and all the green space you can find in Ash Creek, so we're really happy to get to show it to you in this video. The school systems here are Pearson's Corner Elementary, Chickahominy Middle, and Atley High. Up next is the most recently built neighborhood of this video, and it's Bishop's Park. Bishop's Park is located further southeast in Mechanicsville than the others, near the intersection of Pole Green Road and Rural Point Road. This neighborhood was exclusively built by Main Street Homes, and we will say they do build a quality home. Immediately though, you will notice that it feels like a new construction neighborhood, since all of the landscaping is pretty much just the basic package given by the builder, which always includes some shrubs and the standard two trees in the front yard. The HOA fee is $220 per quarter, but it only offers two common area spaces, one with a nice playground and open field, and the other being a sitting area by a small pond that they say is for bird watching. So a little expensive given the lack of community pool and other amenities, but at least your trash removal is taken care of by the HOA as well. These homes have a year built ranging from 2018 with some construction still wrapping up and two spec homes available for purchase. There are only about 100 homes located in Bishop's Park, but there could be future development towards the north end of the neighborhood. Sizes range from 2,000 square feet up to 3,300, but the average sits around 2,740 square feet. Almost all of the recent sales were new construction builds being completed and the prices ranged from around $500,000 to the low 600s. Obviously, these are more expensive than the resale opportunities in the last two neighborhoods, but in return you get much newer construction with open concept living. The downside is the lack of character within the neighborhood, and dollar to dollar they are smaller in size. We always say everything is a mix of pros and cons. Only two out of the 26 homes sold in the past year are what we call resales, meaning someone moved in, lived there, and then sold it. However, given that the average year built is about halfway through the year 2019, I do expect more resale opportunities to present themselves in the future as turnover begins to occur. The school systems here are Pole Green Elementary, Oak Knoll Middle, and Hanover High. Last up is Honey Meadows. Honey Meadows is located at the intersection of Honey Meadows Drive and Atley Station Road, set further behind the Taylor Farms neighborhood. Located right by here is the Atley High School and Chickahominy Middle School. Also, I apologize in advance, but I wasn't able to get drone footage of this neighborhood because of a no-fly zone due to a nearby airport. And of course, it was trash day again. Honey Meadows is an interesting mix of three different sections. There's a street of all brand new construction houses built by Eastwood Homes, and then there's a section to the northwest with large wooded lots, and a section to the southeast with much smaller lots typically found in the suburbs. Within the community, there is a clubhouse and pool, plus tons of sidewalks throughout. The HOA fee is 87 per month, which equates to 261 per quarter, so not too far off the others. The year built ranges from 2009 with some new construction spec homes available currently, but the neighborhood average year built is 2013. The average size is 3,200 square feet with a range of 2,300 square feet up to 4,700. There are a total of 170 homes within Honey Meadows, and in the past year there were a total of 19 sales, but only nine of those were resales. Prices range from the 500,000s to the mid 700,000s, depending on size and whether or not it's new construction. Expect to find a three to five bedroom home with two and a half up to five and a half bathrooms. Usually the homes on the higher end of the square footage range include a basement. The school systems here are Cool Spring Elementary, Chickahominy Middle, and Atley High. So there you have it, four family-friendly neighborhoods in the Mechanicsville area. If you had a favorite, leave us a comment and let us know which one. I also want to say that I really appreciate you watching this video and all of our others. Each video takes us about 20 hours to create because we do it all ourselves, including the drone, GoPro, and the video editing. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, please let us know by hitting that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our other videos. If you're thinking about moving to Richmond, definitely hit us up. Sarah and I have the knowledge and experience to help make your move as stress-free and easy as possible. Thanks for being here with us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.